Hello, this is Pastor Katina Isley with BlessingsInBreakthroughs.com. Recently, I had a conversation with a family member and she was uh, talking negative about herself and saying some negative things. And I said to her, I said, you shouldn't say that, nor should you continue to say those type of negative things about yourself. I said, when you do, you can cause it to happen. Uh, and it goes back to what the word of God says about this life and death and the power of our tongue and how we should have, you know, we're going to, what we eat of, that is what's going to be produced. So it goes back to the uh, Bible scriptures like that I was referring to. So as I was telling her this, she said, <clears throat> she asked me the question, she said, why is it uh, that uh when i say i can say something negative about myself and it's and it can happen that bad thing it can cause a bad thing to happen the same day or the next day or quickly while i can say good things about myself uh over and over again or say good things i want to happen in my life uh more than one time multiple times and it can take a long time for it to happen whether it's uh months, years, or whatever the case may be. So she was questioning why is it that uh, I can say something uh, bad one time and, and, and a bad thing can happen. And, and I can say something uh, uh, good or something good I want to happen and it may not happen for years. And uh, she's uh, one of those family members where we talk about the Word of God often and uh, she knows my teaching and um, and uh, what the Word of God says on these different uh, issues, I mean, on these different uh, uh, topics. So uh, we were, so when she said that, I thought about it and I said, it may, and I realized, it may seem that way, but in actuality, it's not. So you have to understand that usually when we are speaking something negative uh, about ourselves, is something we already thought and it's something we uh, 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 spoke probably uh, most likely more than one uh, one time, and we thought about it more than one time. We just now speaking and see your thoughts make a difference too. Your thought, your thought is your your thoughts are actually a type of communication as well. Um, if you ever watch uh, people who uh, testimonies about people who have had. Um, uh, uh, out of life experience, a near death experience, and they uh, and God blessed them and brought them back to life. Uh, and uh, the men of them, uh, when they share their testimony, they talk about how when they was it, it had the experience of going to heaven, how they communicate people when they communicate communicated with each other, but it was through the mind, it was through the thought. And you read the scripture and. Uh, what Jesus said, if you think it, you are guilty of it. He was referring to uh, someone committing a, a adultery. And so our thoughts makes a our thoughts make a difference. It our thoughts could uh, 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 showing and usually before we act on something, we think it first. We think it and then we speak it. And so those negative thoughts you keep repeating in your mind over and over again, it makes a difference. Also, the thing is this, we are more, and when I say we, I'm talking about we as human beings, we were brought into, we were born into a sinful world. Once Adam sinned and uh, sinned into this, uh, once Adam fell and sinned into this world and into mankind and we all automatically born into sin. That's why the word of God says we all have sinned and fallen short of his glory, all of us. And, and 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 that's what it goes back to is is and that's why the scripture said with the uh, sin of one man that man is Adam, uh, all have sinned, and through this the the, uh, the and it goes on to say about how uh, we have an opportunity for that right to receive the righteousness when we accept Jesus Christ uh, as our Lord and Savior. Um, we can see scriptures that shows that, uh, but my a point I'm trying to make when it comes. Uh, when it comes to what I'm saying about sin, when we allow sin in our, or well, we have sin in our life, and when we we naturally, uh, uh, our flesh naturally 
gravitate towards those negative things. That's why you see, if you just observe people and listen to what they say, uh, uh, you would notice that, because I have done this, uh, I've just, uh, you would notice that a lot of the things, you know, they're complaining a lot or they're, they'll talk about negative things. Uh, most people going to speak the negative things or bad things in their life first before they'll speak something good. They just uh, automatically go towards the, the negative or the bad. And, uh, and and a lot of people are, they feed off that, the negativity. And you have, it's a fight. And you're, that's why the Word of God says, do not be uh, conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because your mind, your flesh, actually naturally go to the negative things the bad things the sinful things you have to fight it it's, it's actually it really is a fight that you have to to be determined that i'm not going to go towards saying the negative things thinking the negative things speaking the negative things over myself and then others and uh this sort of thing you have to be determined to fight such a fight and so what happens is we usually uh think we may think it over and over again, the negative thing, uh, the negative thing or things uh, about uh, ourselves, and then we uh, say it. And so, in the situation where this family, what, uh, in this situation, conversation I was having with this family member, what she was saying was, well, how is it that uh, just one time uh, uh, saying some negative, some bad can happen? Well, most likely she, you did not. You may have spoken it one time, but you were thinking it, have been thinking it over and over and over again, off and on for a certain period of time, whether that there's been months or weeks or whatever, and and that could be if all that times add up, and so that's how uh, it can become a. The negative thing that you spoke about yourself can become a self-fulfilling prophecy, which you don't want to happen. It's important for us to speak life into ourselves. We speak; we should speak good things, and uh, and and sometimes it takes. Uh, it does take more time to than I believe. And the Word of God shows this. It does take uh, uh, when we have done something, uh, profess something negative. It does take uh, a, a lot more to correct that negative uh, with something positive and say things positive in its place. When I find myself saying something, and I know that from studying the Word of God, and when I find myself speaking something negative uh, uh, about myself or someone else, and then I, I regret it, I realize it, and I regret it. I'm like, oh, man, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I, sh I, I shouldn't have thought that. Uh, so what I do is I, I repeat the opposite, the good thing, the positive thing over and over again in my mind. And I speak it out loud sometimes as well because I want to I want to undo. This is my part of trying to undo the damage that I've done through my tongue or through my thoughts. I replace the negativity, the negative things I said with something positive. Uh, for example, if I, if I was to Notice that uh, uh, I said something uh, 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 negative, uh, and, and, uh, and let's say the negative thing is, I said, uh, I'm, uh, I'm angry. Uh, I'm, I'm angry at, uh, uh, with so-and-so, and, uh, and I can be. It, it can be, uh, you know, a true statement, So, but I realize, you know what? It's not right for me to be angry with that person. I choose to forgive that person. So instead of me being angry, hold on to that anger and and repeating that, then those negative, uh, angry thoughts keep into my mind and be repeated in my mind over and over again, and me keep thinking on the things that the person said or did that made me ang angry. I choose. I like okay. Uh, I'm a. I I I shouldn't be angry. I'm let the anger go. I'm sorry, God, for being angry uh, with that person. I choose forgiveness, and so. Uh, and I choose love, and so I start thinking positive things about that person. I start th thinking of joyful things, joyful situations, a good time, or, or a positive memory I have concerning that person. And and I and I say instead of me speaking negative things about that person, I say, you know, God bless that person. God bless that person, family. God, if I know something that person is seeking God for, I want a blessing in a certain area. I speak blessings on that person in that way. Or uh, 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 and so that's just an example of how I do it and, and my way of trying to correct the wrong or, or change the 
negative to something positive. Um, so it's very important that we don't allow ourselves to speak negative things about uh, ourselves. And it's very important for us to also uh, be had to, also to have a forgiving heart towards others, a loving heart, a forgiving heart towards others. Uh, and when we do find ourselves uh, in that stand of being angry and and being upset, uh, we have to know how to humble ourselves and repent, confess our sin, uh, repent of it. Cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Cover the situation uh, with the blood of Jesus and ask God to help us. It's okay to ask God for, for help and ask God to help guide your tongue and your, and your thoughts so you can line your word up with what his word says so you can receive the blessings he has for you. I hope this is a help to you. To learn more, visit my website, www.blessingsinbreakthroughs.com.